Hi guys, so to start this look, I've already gone in and primed my eyes and then I'm just going in with this white cream pencil and I'm just filling in the entire lid of that one eye. And then I'm just using my finger to smudge out the edges. Once I have that done, I'm going in with the Bring Me Back to Brazil palette and going in with this yellow eyeshadow. I'm just going to use my finger and pat that onto the inner corner of my lid. Next, to brighten up the look a little bit, I'm going in with this brighter yellow shade and just patting that right on top. And then going in with a lime green, I'm going to put that right next to the yellow. And then I'm going in with a darker green and just darkening up the base of that green color and then smoking that out towards the outer corner. And then I'm going to go in with this baby blue shade and just pat that right next to the green. And then taking a flat brush, I'm just going to go in with a blue eyeshadow and I'm going to pat that next to the green and the blue that I just laid down. And then going in with this purple shade, I'm going to add that to the very edge. And then going in with a fluffy brush, I'm just going to smoke that out into my crease and then just add some orange shadow to the inner corner of my upper crease. And then I'm just going in with an eye pencil, I'm just lining my upper and lower water lines. And then going in with a liquid liner, I'm just going to create a wing. And then finally I'm going in and curling my lashes, applying some mascara, and then just adding a little bit of fake lashes to the outer portion of my eye, just to kind of drag my eye out a little. Next I'm just going to go in and I'm going to fill in my brows. And then going in with a concealer, I'm just going to pat that under my eye, a little on my forehead, down my nose, and my chin. And that's it for the glam side of my face. Next, I'm just going to go in with a white body paint from Global Body Art. And I'm just going to kind of loosely stroke in that side of my body. And I don't want this to kind of look uniform. I want this to look streaky. I want it to look like it's painted on. So I'm just going in very messily and I'm just filling in all of the white. And then because I do want that entire side of my body to look sketched, I'm just taking that body paint and I'm just dragging that out into my hair. And then continuing to fill in my chest. And then because my face is a little flushed, I'm just going back in with another layer of that white on my face and just making it look a little deeper. And then using the Zodiac Love Signs palette, I'm just going into this matte white shade and I'm just going to pad that onto my lid and create a base for the eyeshadow that I'm going to be putting on next. I'm going in with this XNO Cosmetics. I'm going in with this matte black shade and I'm just going to take that onto a fluffy brush and blend that into my crease. I'm also going to use this as kind of a slight smear. It's going to look like a smear of like um, charcoal is what I wanted it to look like. And I'm just kind of like putting that into my brow, a little in my contour areas. I'm going in with this gel liner. I'm just going to use that as my like, my sketched in strokes. So I'm just filling in my brow a little bit more, creating the lines in my contour areas and kind of making some definition in areas where there would be a crease.
continuing in with that gel liner, I'm just going to outline my lips and create the lines that would be the shading. And once I have all that done, I'm just going to continue those steps down that side of my body and that side of my ear and create lines and shading using strokes of that liner basically. To finish it up, I'm just coating my lashes and then grabbing a charcoal pencil and just applying it, holding it at one of those lines, and that's it. Now, because I did want this to be a little bit more creative look, I'm going in with some paints afterwards and I'm kind of making myself look like an abstract piece of painting, um, like abstract art. Um, so I'm just going in with different colors and applying that to the same places that I applied the contouring and the shading lines. And I don't have a specific pattern for where I'm putting these colors, it's just whatever color catches my eye, I'm just kind of picking that up and putting it in places where I think it's going to look good next to the other colors that are around it. Um, there's really no system to it. <laughs> So to create the splatter marks, I went in with a couple different methods before I found one that I actually liked. So I first started dabbing on the paint in different areas to make it look like splatters. And then I was going in with a clean like spoolie, dipping that into water and then the color that I wanted and kind of like spritzing that onto my face. And then finally I decided I was just going to go in with a really heavily water loaded brush and dab the paint on and then go right back into the water without dipping into another color and let the water kind of like drip the paint down my body itself. Um, that seemed to be the, the best. And that's it for this video. See you guys in the next one. Bye.